Craig Forrest was my hero. He's outrageous. I loved him so much and then he's gone. <laughs> he's a great guy. He's a legend. He's a top class player. He's crazy. Total leg hand. I tell that to my bitch with my nose. He is fucking crazy. He's like, you know that scene in The Shining? Where, where Jack Nicholson is smashing down the door and the woman is like, ah, you got it! And it's, the guy's like, here's Johnny. That's how he woke me up in the morning. That was basically every day for me. They once said that these wilds could not be tamed. They were so dangerous that any man who dared set foot beyond the tree line would find himself surely meeting a grisly, grisly death. But now there arises one man willing to take up the challenge, willing to penetrate nature's last wilderness and show you how to survive in the harshest of places. Hello, I'm Craig Forrest and welcome to another exciting series of Forest. Survival Guide. In this series we're going to take you through how to survive in the woods out in the open plains with your nothing but your bare hands and a bow. We're going to look at how to acquire food in the woods, we're going to look at how to find water sources, dealing with the local natives and much much more. The time that he chopped off the gorilla's head and the blood went everywhere. Oh that was disgusting. I'll never forget it. Going everywhere and then when he ate it. Oh. Yeah. Of all the ravening beasts which stock these untamed wilds, there is none more elusive than the mountain silverback gorilla. If located, these beasts will often turn wild and violent, throwing themselves upon their pursuers in a brutish flurry of strikes, which results more often than not in death. In the wilderness to survive, you need to find some food. A lot of protein's good. You can get protein from animals. And oh my God! Oh, I'm down there. Oh, 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 the rare and endangered silverback gorilla. And you know what they say about endangered species? Their brains taste all the better. Okay, now let's see if we can't harvest a lot of meat out of this bad boy. Mm. Give me my knife. Some sharp to start cutting off the head. Ah, there we go. Okay. Now that we've got a bad camp, we can harvest something to eat out of it. One of the things you want, the main thing, protein. You can get a lot of protein out of the eyes. If you just pluck them out like that. Ah. There we go. These are really a lot of, a lot of nutrients in these. Oh, mm. Don't taste all that nice. But, mm. but eyes are never good. Another thing about gorillas. Their meat is really good. So reach in here, grab some. Yeah, there we go. Get some fresh gorilla meat. Now, endangered species always very, very tasty. Mm. Mm. And fondest memory of Craig Forrest. That time where he almost, almost killed himself when he uh, attacked a bear. Of course, he won in the end, but he was so close to death. I could smell his blood. Well, I didn't know the wee laddie that well, but all I know is, that boy can rattle. I remember when I was a kid, and I was walking through the forest, and that bear attacked us, and he, he wrestled it to the ground, and I, I, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, like, could control the tears of joy when he saved me. He was such a great guy to have around. Even when people are away from their families for months and months on end, out in the wilderness, 
he was always there to cheer someone up with a little anecdote of one of his many expeditions he was on. But even within these vast, untamed wildernesses, there lie peoples so hardy that they have managed to survive scratching out a living from whatever they can possibly get their hands on. One such tribe has been known to frequent this particular moor, and we travel now to our intrepid host, who is hoping to meet one of their number. We're on our way to meet with the local Highland tribes. Now, hopefully we'll be able to trade some of the supplies and provisions that we found out in the wilderness for some food and shelter. Oh my god, there's one now! Oh, oh no, it seems maddened and aggressive. Better put this one down. Even in places of normally serene contemplation, like this empty moor, there can lurk incredible dangers. As we see here on a simple quest to find water, one of the most basic of all human needs, anything can turn into a struggle for survival. Right, now we've found a fresh source of water. And the only problem with fresh source of water are that they will attract other predators, such as the notorious freshwater croc. Oh my god, here comes one now! Now, the only way to secure this water hole is to get in there and wrestle this bad boy! Oh, it's snapping at me! It's snapping at me! I'm not so hot! So it's pretty much exactly as you saw in the previous footage, except replaced the crocodile with me. It pretty much replaced our parents in terms of beating, and it was quite an eventful childhood. Well, I'm, I'm on I'm on Craig Forest for a long time. Uh, well, I met him at school, and uh, when I became a director, I knew that when I was shooting the show that he was he was the perfect role for it. Well, that season one came to a shocking conclusion. I'm Craig Forrest, and you've been watching Forrest Survival Guide. If you can say something to Craig Forrest right now, what would it be? Keep surviving. Take us back out of the, the bushes again. That was a good night. You're a madman! I knew you would get it eventually! <laughs>